we were participating in the Explorer Week Challenge. Uh, we were paired uh, with an explorer named Yukonori Kawai. You know, it revolved around the pyramids of ancient Egypt, and which I thought was so interesting too to be showing to a second grade class. But they really understood it, and I could see them kind of like thinking in their minds as they were listening about some of these things and how it related to what we'd learned. The challenge was to help Yukonori and like kind of do what he was doing. It was pretty open-ended. We gave us a list of, uh, of explorers, didn't give us names, but these are the areas that um, folks might be interested in. Um, we ranked them, uh, and then we were paired. We didn't have to, you know, look out there to find these explorers. I don't even know where I'd begin with that. But the real hook was contribute. Kids created uh, shadow puppet films uh, to sort of teach other folks about uh, Yukonori as an explorer. And then we also challenged them uh, to use a 3D modeling tool uh, to create their own uh, digital pyramids to try to help Yukonori with his work. We went on Tinkercad and we built these pyramids like what Yukonori did. We had to find ways to solve problems. It just kind of showed the best side of every kid because they all could do kind of what they wanted and show it in their own way. Some kids were drawing, some kids were doing it on the computer, some kids were researching, some kids were writing about it. And we learn about these things that have happened in the past, but it's, we don't even still know everything about the past. So I think once they thought about that, they had all of these questions about, what do these look like? Can we see these if we go to Egypt? How big are these pyramids? So yeah, the curiosity drove it, and we just sort of created the, the frame or the constraints for them to work with them. The uh, positive reinforcement that came when, when they presented their work to Yukonori and they actually got a, a, a video response, a personalized video response from him, I think it was, uh, it was very touching for the kids because they'd made this real world connection. I was really excited when I saw Yukonori's video. He was like really impressed that we were like kind of helping him. be in the middle. I mean, kids learning from each other is the greatest thing. Beginning this process now, I mean, it's just so much more likely that they're going to be a successful 21st century citizens and help us to solve, you know, the myriad problems that we'll have to deal with.